You can say whatever you want about Jake Paul, but the one thing that you cannot deny is the fact that this man has a remarkable ability to not only stay trending in the news, but make a good amount of money off of it as well. A few weeks ago, we covered the fact that Jake Paul called out Dana White for essentially exploiting his MMA fighters after Dana White threw shade at what Jake Paul was doing with boxing. You're getting me talking about this fucking guy again. You're getting hand-picked opponents, and God knows what else is going on with that whole fucking thing. I, it, it's all, there is a market for that. That's not what I do. That is not what I do. People want to see that, and, and, and you know, people want to see it, and, and it's great, and this kid's going to make a couple bucks before this, this ride is over, and uh, it's just not what I do. What I do is what happened tonight. What happened tonight is we sold this place out, and it was packed, and uh, the numbers that you're hearing that they did, are full of shit. They're full of shit, okay? They didn't pull those kind of numbers at all. Not even fucking close. And ever since then, Jake Paul seems to have been doing a victory lap. So what's going on, guys? Your boy Mike here. Really quickly, guys, before we get to the content, just wanted to remind you that I'm giving away a pair of Apple AirPod Maxes to a subscriber that turns on our notifications on this channel. Currently, we only have 10,000 subscribers that have my notifications on. So you have a pretty good chance at winning these Apple AirPod Maxes in comparison to my football channel, Microphone, where we have about 120,000 subscribers with our notifications on. Also, if you could do me a favor and slap a like on the like button for the YouTube algorithm, YouTube has been demonetizing a lot of the content on this channel lately, and it really helps in fighting back and pushing out the content to a larger audience. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's get this party started. So we need to preface this by showing you how good Jake Paul has been feeling about himself over the past two weeks. So he posted this picture onto Twitter where he said, in the past two weeks, I FaceTime Donald Trump, Justin Bieber performed at my fight, was DM'd by Drake, sold 1.5 million pay-per-views, which is top 10 ever, shut down UFC 261, almost fought Daniel Cormier, brought my idol Lil Wayne on stage, knocked out Ben Askren in the first round, took shots with Snoop Dogg, took 1 million from Dana White, Kamara Usman became my fan, had a mosh pit with Tyga, and moved to Puerto Rico. So whatever you want to say about Jake Paul and his personality, you have to admit that in terms of his career, which is trying to stay as relevant as ever in comparison to where he was two years ago, this man is absolutely crushing it. He knows how to stay in headlines. Now, now the other Paul brother, Logan Paul, is scheduled to fight Floyd Mayweather, arguably the greatest boxer of all time, at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami on June 6th. So as a result, they are scheduled to do some promotional events in order to build up the hype for the match. And some things went down at this entire event, and there are some accusations as a result of it. So before we get to the analysis of it, I need to show you the video footage of everything that went down. Japan, really pays off. I know what he did to the country of Japan. I know what he did to Japan. So guess what? You have to pay for what you did to Japan. Is this you from the rally in the entire country? So I know what you did to your wife. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> he's 51 and 1. He paid his wife too. Um, Jesus. He's entitled to feel all he wants to feel all he wants. The for this get, get Al Hayman. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Al yeah. Let me call Al Hayman. Let's make boss. it happen. I'm on one boss. night. Got you oh. 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 He got a list. Okay. I knew that would happen. Oh. Oh. Get Al Hayman. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me call Al Hayman. I'm my own boss. I'm my own boss. Night. Got your hat. 
People are saying that this could potentially have been staged. As a matter of fact, if you go on Twitter afterwards, you could see that the number one thing that's currently trending is staged. So another thing that's really contributing to the fact that a lot of people think that this entire exchange was staged was one, who in their right mind would try to provoke Floyd Mayweather. And two, you can see that Jake Paul actually went onto Twitter and tweeted out the video that we just showed you and said, went as planned as the caption. About to steal Floyd Mayweather's hat. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the pet work with his bum. Get, get Al Hayden. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't need Al Let me call Al Hayden. I'm my own boy. I'm my own. It went good. Now, he kept on going off on Floyd Mayweather saying that I stole his hat because he steals people's money with boring fights. But here's another thing that's contributing to the fact that this entire situation may have been staged because Jake Paul literally dropped gotcha hats the moment that this was finished. He tweeted out shop now at jakepaul.com forward slash gotcha. Then continued on his Twitter tirade saying, honestly, I have had three easy fights as a pro, so I've been itching for some real action. One of Floyd's 30 bodyguards got a clean shot in me in the eye. Word on the street already is that Floyd is sending goons after me to try to kill or hurt me. If I die, I died for the hat. Then he tweeted out a bunch of caps. So that's where we currently stand. Now, obviously there had to have been some preparation for this entire situation. If he decided to do a merch drop literally an hour after this entire scenario happened. So let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this entire situation? Do you think this was actually something that happened? Because I've never seen Floyd Mayweather get that upset. Or do you think this was all staged in order to build up hype for the fight? Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload. Thank you.